Guys, what's good? It's your boy Phil. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Chainsaw Man Season 1, the anime. This was the probably the most anticipated anime of the last season, I would have to say. It was definitely one I was looking forward to, for sure. I had never read Chainsaw Man up until this point. I was always holding out for the anime because I knew that it was going to be a banger. Uh, and it didn't disappoint. I like that shit. I like that shit a lot. When the anime finished, I actually read all the manga in like two days. <laughs> so it was, I enjoyed it. It was good. So I must have liked it, right? Um, it was cool, man. It was cool. The anime was dope. I'm not going to go into like manga spoilers or shit like that. Let me know, by the way, if you would like me to like make Chainsaw Man videos. I'll keep that on my list. One of my New Year's resolutions is to up upload more often because, you know, Q3 and 4 of, of 2022, I kind of just fell off YouTube. But, you know, hey, New Year, New Me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Chainsaw Man Season 1 was dope. I liked it. From a visual standpoint, it was fucking fire. It was dope. Um, and also, you know, just from having a Chainsaw Man anime and having some of those moments animated, that shit was pretty cool. I don't know why I'm talking like I read the manga before the anime because I didn't, but now seeing the anime and what can be done and what can happen in Season 2, because there's probably going to be a Season 2, and now knowing what happens in Season 2, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited for the Chainsaw Man saga. So that's going to be pretty cool. Can't wait for that. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about this shit. I mean, I liked it. I liked the anime. I thought the anime was dope. I didn't really have any expectations going into it. I, I was always hyped up, you know? Chainsaw Man was always hyped up as fuck. People were like, bro, this is the shit. This is awesome. You got to check this shit out. You got to read it. Um, and, you know, I was always holding out for the anime. And I, I don't think I uh, I don't think I regret that, you know. I, I think it's probably a different perspective if you read the manga and then, you know, watch the anime. You probably might have a different opinion. But, like, as an anime only coming in watching season one of Chainsaw Man, I thought it was cool. I thought it was dope. So Chainsaw Man is about uh, the Chainsaw Man, <laughs> as the title fucking says. Uh, my boy Denji, he gets, it's kind of got like, I don't want to say Jujutsu Kaisen vibes or like Demon Slayer vibes, but it's got those types of vibes where there's these devils that are like, you know, all over the world and you got people hunting the devils, uh, and the devils possess people and they become fiends and shit like that. Uh, so you got, it's got, yeah, there's a lot of those animes now that I think about it. It's kind of like Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer. Oh yeah, there's a fucking lot of those animes. Is that a trope? Oh well, whatever. Um, but it's cool. It's cool. You got these devils all over the place. My boy Denji, he gets a dog, um, <laughs> and, and eventually, you know, both of them die, and then the dog becomes a part of Denji, and now, you know, Denji's a chainsaw man, and there's some deeper lore in that in, uh, the later parts of the manga, but as of season one, he's just a chainsaw guy ripping shit to shreds, and he's got his own really screwed up goals in his head, because he really... Denji's do you guys like Denji do you guys like Denji can I ask you that do you guys like Denji because I'm kind of mixed feelings about this dude man he's unlike any other protagonist that I've seen before in like fiction right he's unlike any other protagonist which I respect I like that shit I think it gives him you know some type of edge but dude this dude's goals and like his aspirations and shit I'm like bro really really it's like that but I mean, I guess that's kind of the point of Chainsaw Man. I, I guess that's kind of, you know, one of the hidden plot points of it, I guess. But anyways, besides the point, um, Denji's cool. He's all right. What really strikes me about Chainsaw Man are some of the side characters. Um, I fuck with some of the side characters for sure. Like Aki. Aki's dope. I think that I think that guy's cool. He does that fucking fox thing, bro. That shit is lit. I love that shit. Um, and he's got the sword, obviously, the cursed sword, which I won't get too much into details. Um, and yeah, he's got his own screwed up shit going on. But I think another thing I like about Chainsaw Man, and you know, I, I'm like, I like some of this little, like, deep lore type shit, you know? I'm a guy all about fucking lore and shit. And I like the thing that they talk about in Chainsaw Man, that the devils get stronger the more you fear them. And that's something that they develop more in the manga, which I really fucking like. Um, but you know, I, I, not, I don't know a lot of whole people who have a fear for chainsaws you know they're kind of just a tool you take down trees with them but that's besides the point so like one of the devils that's like one of the strongest devils one of the most feared things in the chainsaw man universe is the gun devil everyone fucking everyone's scared of guns right but actually in the chainsaw universe there's no guns there's no guns they got rid of all the fucking guns they were illegal throughout the whole world and shit uh but then you know as 
the story progresses, you find out people actually have the guns. And one of the main goals in the whole chainsaw thing is to find the gun devil, stop these guns, and, you know, that's it. Just get rid of the guns, because the gun devil is OP. Um, which I like. I do like that thing that the devils are stronger the more they're feared, right? I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, like, your common fears, you know, like the snake devil pops up in, uh, in, uh, not the snake devil. No, I guess it would be the snake devil, yeah. The snake devil pops up in season one. Uh, that's some shit that a lot of people are scared of. I won't go too much into spoilers, but, you know, if you just think, like, the top five things people are scared of, chances are they pop up later in the manga, so that's pretty cool. But that's one thing I really like about the Chainsaw verse, right? That's pretty cool, and I think that has a lot of potential to be explored um, later down the line in the manga, which, by the way, I don't know, like... There was like a hiatus or some shit with the manga. I don't know. I'm a fucking noob. I'm a fucking noob when it comes to Chainsaw Man. But I love part two of the manga. It's fucking dope. I love that shit. I don't know if people like part one or part two more. I like part two. That shit is fire, bro. It's actually. I thought the manga was good. I thought the manga was longer. I thought it was been going on for way longer than I thought. It's only like a hundred something chapters, which is crazy. Like I, I literally finished season one and I just binged the rest of the fucking manga. I was like, damn, this shit is fire, bro. This shit is fire. I'm sure you have a different perspective if you've, like, been following Chainsaw Man for a while. Um, but yeah, as someone who, as, as a fucking Zoomer, who fucking just watched the anime and then binged the whole manga, I'm like, yo, this shit is dope. This shit is fire. So I'm gonna try and keep up with it. I'm gonna try and keep up with Chainsaw Man. I think it, I think it drops every two weeks or some shit like that, so that's pretty dope. That's my preferred, uh way to drop mangas i love series that drop every two weeks that shit is fire i think the week after week shit gets a little old um and that shit you know that's at, at, at you're just digesting crumbs at some point you know when they drop week after week but i don't know some people like that shit too um like one punch man is usually every two weeks right i fuck with that shit um but anyways besides point back to season one uh, so, you know, you get introduced to all, you know, some of the main characters in part one of, uh, of, of Chainsaw Man. You know, you got Makima. I never liked her, bro. I never liked her. I don't know why people fucking like Makima. I just dropped my phone. I'm sorry. I don't know why people like her. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Can someone explain to me down below why the fuck people are obsessed with Makima? I don't know. I don't know why. I genuinely do not know why. Like, she's crazy, bro. She's, she's actually crazy. And then, I mean, they're, Denji's fucking crazy, too. No, but, I mean, she's obviously got her own shit going on that gets foreshadowed later in, in, in uh, Season 1, you know, when people, everyone gets lit up in that train and shit, and Mahima just walks out of there all bloody and shit. That was one part of the season where I was like, damn, okay, shit's getting real. Shit's getting absolutely real, dude. And I think that's one of the things I, one of the things I like the most about Chainsaw Man is, like, they're, uh, they're, they're not afraid, the author, I guess I should say, is not afraid to take risks throughout the series, right? People getting their fucking brains blown out, bro. Like, uh, like, like, obviously, you know, I could spoil season one, right? It's been out for a few days or anything. But when, uh, when, when the girl with the ghost devil, right, gets fucking eviscerated, bro, loses all her appendages, fucking vanishes in thin air. That was some crazy shit, bro. That was a crazy episode. That episode was insane. That episode was absolutely insane, dude. Yeah, not a, not being afraid to take risks is pretty dope. It's pretty good. I like that about Chainsaw Man a lot. Um, and you know, it keeps you, it keeps you, it keeps you reading the shit, digesting it, because you never know. It's kind of got like Game of Thrones vibes, like you know, when when you never knew who was gonna die next, who was gonna get fucking killed next, right? That type of shit. I love that. I love that stuff, dude. So that's kind of the reasons why I really enjoyed Chainsaw Man, especially in season one where people are getting fucking popped left and right, dude. Not a, not being afraid to take risks. That's sick. I love that shit. It's refreshing because you see a lot of series uh, where, where you know, none of the main characters will ever die, bro. Never. They'll never die. And that's kind of, I, uh, I, I like, like, like JoJo part one, dude. When, when, uh, when, when Jonathan dies, I'm like, damn. We just killed the main character, bro. What's gonna happen now? That's kind of the vibes I get from Chainsaw Man too. And there's obviously other series that do that. I won't spoil all of them. I just said Jonathan Joestar because that's an old ass fucking series, bro. Um, but yeah, I like that. I like that about Chainsaw Man. Um, it's definitely one of the other, you know, things that I really like the most about it. I mean, th that's probably like three things that I like the most about Chainsaw Man. Not being afraid to take risks and kill off people if you know, it's time for them, you know, shock factor and shit like that. 
Um, you know, I liked all the side characters and shit, and I love the universe of it and the abilities and the devils and all that shit. I'm a sucker for that type of shit. I'm sorry. But yeah, that that's those are kind of all my thoughts for Chainsaw Man Season 1. I like the shit. Maybe I'll drop a manga review too. I don't know, but... Because I did read all the manga. I'm probably going to reread that shit. It's it's not that long. Like, if, you, if you're like me, you know... And you and you just watched all 12 episodes of Chainsaw Man. You could binge the manga in like a day or something, you know, a day or two, three days tops. Um, and you'll and you'll enjoy it. You'll like that shit for sure. Especially you know, season two is gonna come. And I really, honestly, dude, the parts after after where season one ends are dope, dude. Those are sick. Oh, dude, season two is gonna slap, bro. That shit's gonna be insane. But guys, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy New Year. Peace out.